Let's see if I can sneak by with these guys. God damn! There's too many! Too many enemies! No! I want that treasure! It's a trap! Uh, should probably go to the left. I have a feeling it's the left. Okay, tough guys, Another up. fight? No. No. It's gotta be this way. It's got to be this way. Just has to be. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sure. I'm so sure of it. See? See, it's the... Oh! There's another block! Oh wow, okay. The fourth block. Pretty big dungeon. Chim chims. Here's our chance. Justice prevails. Justice prevails. Hmm. This way. More enemies. This place is full of them. No doubt about it. Ah, sneak by. Yes, I did it. <laughs> Didn't have to fight. Yes. Can I pull it off again? Yes! I can. Can I pull it off again? Yes! I can. <laughs> yes! Intense sneaking skills. I'm getting good Metal Gear dot hack. Or oh, is it dot hack solid? Now this is a piece of cake. <gasps> No! No! They got me. Justice prevailed. Okay. Here next. <laughs> More sneaking. And there's Ida. Cool. Made it. Ida spotted. Be careful, Haseo. Okay, now. Come on. Come on! I'm right here! Yay! Oh yeah, he looks different now. Because of the chop extension. It also has an influence on Scathe. Thanks to your chop extent, Say's epitaph has powered up and evolved to its second form. Skate's second form possesses the following abilities. Slash God, break up an opponent's normal shards with Axe Slash. Chakram, sends out a discus shaped beam on the fourth Axe Slash combo hit to attack an opponent. Okay. Oh, his. Oh. His shard is better too. 
Whoa. Cool. That's pretty cool. Feels way stronger now. Nice. Okay, just data drain that thing. Come on. Data C to C. Good. That should take care of the Ida extermination for this area. Thanks for the help, Aseo. Let's... Let's head back to town. Oh, don't tell me I have to go all the way back. Oh, no. Actually, wait. I think I have an item for this, right? Uh... Instantly warp to the last platform pass in the area. Let's do it. Nice. Saved a lot of time. Yeah, yeah. Give me the D. Give me the D. I love it. <laughs> well, see you later. Okay. Time to read emails. There's an important unread email in the mail station. Thanks, Haseo. Thanks for helping me out, Haseo. You really saved my behind. So, um, about what happened at Raven recently, I don't think that just shutting down the server would solve everything either. And I know that part of what Yata says is true, but I still don't think that's any reason for us to not do everything we can. I've been thinking about things since you saved me, and I'm wondering if I should go back to GU. But I don't think I can with, th I, but I don't think I can with things as they are now. I'm going to try doing what I can the best that I can. I hope you'll do the same well later. And our cat says about serious. I got a message from a player that said they can tell me what happened to Sirius. I'm going to go check it out right away. You'll come along too, right? Here are the area words where we are going to meet. Hidden Forbidden Battlefield. It's a lost crown. The Coid Border Battlefield. The reason for Sirius's odd behavior is Ida. I've got a bad feeling. Uh oh. I'll follow out Kate. That's probably a, a setup. It might be a trap by Bordeaux or something. To to get Arcade out of the way, you know. To weaken our tournament team. Kite. Another super rare card. Mm. It's well balanced. <laughs> I don't like it too much. So a new lost crown. What do you want to bet a new forum post will appear? <laughs> who me? Who's gonna be? Ovan? Uh, it is Bordeaux. Damn. Do you know Sirius? You said you knew the I knew it. it so it's strange. a setup. She tries to, to get Arcade out of the way for the tournament. The... Oh shit. Wait a second. You're from Castrol, aren't you? Oh crap, dude. 
Our kid is infected with Ida. That's bad. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> it's not good at all. Arcade. No. <laughs> oh, she cannot speak, huh? Crap. Kate, you... I said, don't cry. You're a strong man. Damn, dude. He lost another really good friend. Oh. Fucking Bordeaux, dude. She's such a bitch. What's going on here? There seems to be a depression on the side of the pillar where you can insert something. Data seed H is responding to the pillar. Okay. What am I doing? <laughs> Seems like I can insert different uh, IDA data into this stuff, into these pillars. There's also, also a triage sign right here. Oh. Well, fuck. So, she wants us to try and fight Andrins. Because for some reason, she thinks he will take over for her. In the tournament Arcade final, you know. Is gone. She's now become one of the lost ones. Damn. I, I failed again. Must feel bad, dude. Like, he's really trying his best, you know? Putting so much time into this. 
risking a lot too, but it's always too late. Yeah. Oh, whoa, no, 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 no. <laughs> I didn't want to lock back in. Damn it. Ah. No, I want to read my mail. Let's go adventuring. <laughs> it's almost time for the tournament finals. Today, Lord Kaede praised me for remembering some useful information I read in a strategy guide. She even gave me some area worlds. I can't wait to try them out. So why don't we go to Theta Ephemeral, Ephemeral Times Memoir to level up in preparation for the tournament finals. You won't find me to be the same old Adelaide today. I'll back you up like you've never seen before. So, please feel free to fight to your heart's content. P.S. I sent Arcade an email too, but I haven't heard back from her yet. I was hoping to go leveling up with all three of us. Do you have any idea what could be wrong, Haseo? Or... I can't keep this hidden forever. <laughs> I need to tell Adelie about Arcade. Damn. It's fucked up. Let's read some news to, to calm us down. <laughs> doll syndrome patients missing. Six fourth grade doll syndrome patients, all 10 years old, have disappeared from the hospital in Nitaka, Tokyo. 400 people from the Nitaka police, local fire department, and worried parents are searching for the missing children. Authorities are investigating the possibility that they may have become involved in some kind of incident. The children were first found to be missing two nights ago, apparently having left the hospital and their homes without being spotted. The six were all friends in the same class at their school. Local citizens remarked how they used to see them all the time in the park, gathering around playing online games. The principal of the school was quoted as saying that up until they all got doll syndrome, they were perfectly normal students. They had good home lives, they were always the first to raise their hands in class, and they got along great with their teacher. There was nothing problematic about them at all. The Nitaka police revealed that six children were seen in front of the elementary school gate around 8.30pm two nights ago, and other eyewitnesses report from Nitaka and neighboring city Musashikawa indicate that the investigation is moving smoothly. Huh. What happened? <laughs> New Creatures, highly popular. The hottest comedy duo in Japan, New Creatures, will make their CD debut this month with the release of their theme song, theme song Frogs Go Home, from the currently running anime Frog Currents. New Creatures is a comedy duo made up of... Oh my god. This is not important at all, is it? Uh, were forced back into poverty, and then they became famous. 2015. Ah, the two showed no signs of tension at their press conference. When Usagimaru said how they filled these songs full of the blood, tears, and sweat of the past seven years, Rei-chan quickly responded by saying, keep talking like that, and it'll be another seven before we sell any. Causing everyone to burst out laughing. Ah, oh, 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 that's so funny. Can these two live up to the music scene the way they have lightened up airwaves? Only time and CD sales will tell. Wow. It was really interesting. Oh, shit. Well, take a guess who that is, huh? Girl in coma after playing online game. 16-year-old girl in Sapporo, Hokkaido was found to have fallen into a coma in her home while playing an online game. According to the girl's mother, who was the first to discover her, the girl began playing an online game after arriving home at 5pm. Around 8.30pm, the girl's mother went to call her daughter for dinner and found her collapsed on the floor still wearing her M2D. She immediately called 911 and the girl was taken to the local hospital. The girl's heart had stopped beating by the time she was... 
Oh shit, dude. The girl's heart had stopped beating by the time she was discovered. Medics were able to restore her heartbeat and breathing using CPR, but her comatose condition remains unchanged. Holy shit. The girl had no major illnesses to speak of and was not acting any different than usual according to witnesses. This has led some to think that her collapse was due to overexertion from playing the game for too long. The girl is a famous player in the online game The World. She had reportedly been playing the game every day in order to compete in the game's arena battle, yeah. That is arcade. Many of the players who have lost consciousness while playing The World have done so while competing in the arena or while leveling up to help their chances of victory. Some medical professionals claim that the tournament is dangerous for these reasons. CyberConnect Japan has repeatedly denied any culpability for these claims, insisting that there is no scientific proof to be found. In fact, they say they are prepared to take legal action if this groundless, groundless slander continues to impede our business. Yeah. Oh shit, dude. She looks kind of similar to her character in real life too, right? Yeah. Oh, that sucks, dude. Ah, oh, why? Why, Arcade? <laughs> why did you have to be so stupid and go there alone? Oh, so there are some cards that you can only gain from uh, visiting specific fields. Oh, so by using competing as the first word, you can get these cards. Interesting. Last crowned mega threat. <laughs> Coit Border. Official name Coit Border Battlefield. Luxurious Jaw. Official setting, the place where the servant of the gods, the fighting dragon Magmold, and the humans fought during the war between the humans and the gods. Magmold now floats in the deepest parts of the area after being sealed away and turned to stone by humans. Oh, that's the thing in the background? I see. Um, rumors, using a special item will allow you to visit the city seen behind Magmold. I wonder. It's a shitty picture of Celebus. Great. So many Gasper fanboys. <laughs> oh wow. Mm. As the title says, I would like to become a PKer. Once I do, I would like to get a gold bird. This picture shows the ideal PK I would like to be. What the fuck? I wouldn't mind getting piqued by a PK like that. <laughs> pervert, pervert, pervert. Some moon tree pictures. Or just one, I guess. Two men. Who are they? Oh, it's Kazubolo and the Blue Eye Samurai. Let's see. Whoops. No, there's more. One more. Changing bravery to healing. The Medic Union. Yeah. Well, let's uh, go and meet Adelaide and bring her the sad news. <laughs> Adelaide's invited me to go leveling up. Theta Ephemeral Times Memoir, huh? I guess we take someone else with us, huh? Um. I guess I'm going for Gasbird. Yeah. Lowest affinity. 
Well then, let's go. I can't wait to have that talk with her. <laughs> so, Adelie, by the way, uh, our kid almost died. <laughs> I wonder what could have happened to Arcade. Well. Huh? Did you say something, Haseo? Will he have the guts to say it? We're supposed to level up, right? Let's complete Not yet. the mission and get to the Beast Temple. <laughs> There's a Mecha Grunty in the background, but he's like floating in air. What the fuck? Wait, where is he? You see that? He's floating in air. What the f- What? Oh, oh, I see. <laughs> okay. So it's just, uh, the area didn't load yet. There he is. That again. Save him. It's a new enemy, right? Han Sin. Even if it's just for the sake of not always having to, to get past this text box telling me that I have too many. Hey you! Come back here. Boom. Okay. Even break a sweat. I'm sorry. Do I even get some experience here? Not much, right? Might as well just head straight to the beast sample at this point. Doing pretty good, uh, level wise. Yeah, I don't really get much. Let me just go for the treasure here. Um, let's head back. <laughs> Roadkill! I love it. Oh, that was a Rangeki. But he died too quickly. Couldn't do it. Oh, thought you were dead. Second fragment. Third is straight to the north, but let me see if there's anything on here. Not really. I thought it was like, you know, a lucky animal or something, but I guess not. Okay, tough 
guys. Bring it on. Okay. Almost done. Okay, time to head to the Beast Temple. There's actually one more treasure behind the beast temple. Let me check that one out. <laughs> Maybe it's something really amazing, you know. I think even I Probably leave. not, but <laughs> I still want it. You evil monster. And another trap, which I will have, of course, no problem dealing with. That wasn't too bad, actually. It's a rope. Let's see what's in the temple. Hatsaya, we did it! All that's left to do is to get the Beast Temple's treasure. Right. Did, uh, did something happen? You seem kind of off today. Oh, uh, you know, our friend, um... <laughs> Alcade... retired. Retired? Retired? Wait a minute, you mean she quit the game? No. Huh? Damn. More Oh Aida. shit. Adelie, stand back. All right. Come on. Come on. I'm right here. Sky! It's another shitty Anna. No big deal. And dead. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> Maybe I can put this into the um, the Lost Crown thing again, like in one of those pillars. So Alcade was also attacked by Ida? She figured it out, wow. <laughs> I couldn't save her either. Hasail. 
It's the same as with Shino. It's all my fault. It's all because I had my epitaph stolen. Ida's the one who got Alcade. Your epitaph had nothing to do with it. Yeah, how is it her fault? He said that the Ida server might have come about because of Ida's increased activity after taking my epitaph. Oh, well. <laughs> case, it really is my... Huh. That's just Yada's guess. Don't worry about it. But Haseo, Sirius changed because he became infected by Ida too. You see, if Sirius hadn't been infected by Ida, then Alcade would still be all right. Adelie, don't make everything your fault. If you say things like that, then all this becomes my responsibility for not being able to solve anything. And Gaspard is just, he's just standing there and he's like, hmm, what are they talking about? <laughs> not a single line from him. It's just like, okay, whatever. These guys are all playing again. It's fine. I'm gonna go now. Goodbye. There's some things I want to think about by myself. Yeah. So, uh, good work. Again today. Hmm. Oh, is there anything left I want to do? Let me check here really quickly. There's uh. uh not really. Okay, let's log out. And unfortunately, that's it gonna be for today already. <laughs> Time is over. But yeah. Before Alcade disappeared, oh. she told me to go find Endrance, a former Demon Palace Emperor, whose whereabouts have been unknown since he lost to me. I wonder where he is now. Hmm. Well. I guess next time we'll be looking for Endrance, trying to recruit him for our arena team. I'm not sure, sure why he would agree to that, but um, Alcade seems to... I don't know. She seems to know something about him that we don't, so... It's gonna be interesting. Let's try to, to get him, recruit him for our team, and see how that goes. Hopefully we can, we can save Alcade and, you know... And heal Atelier's hand, dude. She is still fucked up. <laughs> but <laughs> she's a beast, you know? She doesn't care. She just keeps on going, so. Alright, anyway. um, That's gonna be for today. I hope to see you again tomorrow. 9pm CET, 12pm PST, as always. And thank you very much for watching. Goodbye, guys.